Alright guys, welcome back to Formula 1 News. Quick video on Mercedes hopes going into the French Grand Prix in two weekends time. Austria generally not a track that has suited them particularly well, but still coming away with a P3, P4. Rather happy Lewis Hamilton and also Toto Wolff believe that the best is still yet to come and they've pretty much half the gap on their competitors and maybe over the coming weeks that may come down to the potential of actually winning a race. Very much intrigued to your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. Firstly, wanted to mention this because there was a fine dish down for the top three drivers all the entire podium actually at the Austrian Grand Prix. Leclerc was summoned to the stewards for a breach of Park Ferme instructions and apparently the same thing well followed on for the other drivers as well both Hamilton and Verstappen also kind of called up. Apparently what happened here is their physios kind of were interacting with them and maybe they told them to take their gloves off or like the drivers were weighed without their gloves and I believe you're meant to be weighed with your gloves or whatever the case was but um, yeah apparently the driver's now been fined because of this like there was never really going to be any like penalty here because when Leclerc was summoned it was like okay I'm gonna second a five second penalty or even a 1.7 second penalty would have been enough to give Verstappen the victory but turns out that was not the case but still a 10,000 euro fine a suspended fine I'm pretty sure to the end of the season for all the drivers for doing something which wasn't really like it wasn't necessarily their fault in the sense that I'm pretty sure it was their physios or whoever that told them to do this or you know all of them were in the same boat here it's not necessarily their individual fault but um you know still they walk away with a fine I guess that is what it is at the end of the day not too much money for these guys. This was the pace over the course of the weekend. These were the kind of the, the, were the differences in kind of teammate pacings in the pairings across the grid. But on a one lap pace, the Mercedes of Hamilton was about six tenths or so down on what Leclerc was doing. Now, of course, uh, look, over the fact that this is a pretty short lap, that's not particularly good at all. If you extrapolated that pace out to a spa or something, you're looking at like a one second per lap difference. But then you've also got to consider the fact that Hamilton at the ends, like uh, didn't pit under the VSC, therefore he still had the kind of older tyres, whereas uh, Leclerc and Verstappen at the end had the newer mediums. They could kind of push a little bit harder with and also Verstappen early on was kind of stuck behind a DRS train as was Russell so the gap probably wasn't quite as bad as the numbers of like six tenths or so off from Leclerc looked like it was probably more in terms of pure pace three four tenths on a track which generally the last few years has not suited them particularly well so optimistic signs I think still for the Mercedes as Hamilton says today's result was possible because of course the great work that the Mercedes team did to actually get the car fit to, to race and he did actually mention that it didn't really feel quite the same in that as he said in the interviews afterwards as it did at the start of the weekend when he was kind of pushing for pole position, crashed the car. Of course, it got fixed. It was a bit different. Wasn't good for Russell either because they didn't have enough spare wings of the lower downforce model. They now want to run. I think Toto Wolff described Russell's rear wing as a barn door. They had to build the back of his car because, um, and I think they reckon that was costing him at least a couple of tenths a lap compared to what they would have done if they had a proper rear wing. And maybe the car was a bit different. Hamilton seemed to feel a little bit more confident with it though as the race went on. And as he says, I can feel that win it getting closer. So a few statements here from Hamilton on the great recovery and also saying that like um yeah this of course is just a sign of things to come but yes they were still nailed on for fifth and sixth today if not for the issues that are ahead of them with Perez and Sainz as well but um you know still I think they believe that especially going into racetracks that suit them a bit more and with further upgrades to come and the whole technical directive potentially coming into play as well you've got to consider the fact that Toto Wolff believes that Red Bull and Ferrari are kind of abusing this flexi floor idea which might be kind of benefiting them for a couple of tenths of a second a lap and if that goes the other way then Mercedes are right back in the fight and Toto Wolff says they didn't really expect to be that competitive here turns out like they finished 40 seconds off the pace at the end of the day but uh, there are of course other factors in play with those pure numbers and a reasonably confidence building weekend on the whole. I don't know what they'll do with those bits that I destroyed but hopefully we have some new better bits to, to come after that so this is a, a, a great recovery for, for us as a team to get a third and a fourth this is really good points and so uh, we just got to keep our heads down keep chipping away we're slowly eating into the guys ahead but yeah, they're still pretty quick. The car definitely didn't feel exactly the same but, uh, as what I had on Friday, but uh, it was very, very close. And it, and it just seemed to get a bit better as I got, got more dialed in with it. Great job today, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, it's just we're missing a few tents here and there. Um, I think we've halved the gap um, over the last few months. We understand better. Um, but we're still third force. We are somewhere right in the in the middle of nowhere. But I would say, in, if I try to pick the positives in in race pace today, if we would have, which we didn't, start uh, right uh, in the top six, probably we could have held on to to Max um, and and not been so far away. Uh, we didn't expect to be very competitive here because of the nature of the track. It wasn't a happy place for us in the past. So I'm okay. It's just we just need to continue to to grind away. And are you encouraged by the fact that the porpoising, the bouncing, seem to be behind you? 
yeah, um, I don't think we would be really great in Baku or in Monaco. That's still still not completely solved, but we, we, we're getting there. What about Paul Ricard? Paul Ricard should be okay. It's a, it's a smooth circuit, um, a little bit like Silverstone, um, fast corners, and uh, on paper at least it looks like we can have a we can have a good uh, good performance there. And this, of course, was the first time where Mercedes could actually try and push for pole position, right? Yes, after the crashes and the repairs on the car, their race pace didn't quite look the same. Also, their straight line speed wasn't there, right? There's been some talk about the fact that the Mercedes engine doesn't operate so well at these altitudes. The high altitude in the Austrian, well, the Spielberg ring, the Red Bull ring in Spielberg, whereas uh, the Ferrari potentially clearly here, and also the Red Bull seems to operate better at those altitudes. So that might be another factor. Also, the fact that George Russell had to use a, well, a different uh, rear wing composition, right? Right here, so he had a much higher downforce model, which they didn't really want to run, as Toto Wolf mentioned, just because, um, I mean, look, they didn't have any other options because they didn't have any more spares. And usually they would have been, a, usually there would have been a breach of Park Fermi regulations, but they simply had nothing else to use, and therefore that's okay within the rules. And it was actually re reckoned right here that, yeah, two tenths of a second performance loss per lap. But yeah, Hamilton, Wolf, they seem confident that uh, going into Paul Ricardo, as Toto Wolf said, they, that should be a track that suits them a bit better. It has done in previous years. They've been pretty good around there. And, um, well, they believe this could be a decent chance to kind of see where they are on a tracker that's relatively similar to Silverson, right? The smoothest surface should be okay, especially in the corners. The Mercedes looks rather good in the corners, certainly lost out on the straights though. The majority of the time of the team it does seem to be getting more confident as the races progress that even after a difficult weekend here in Austria, all things considered, they've come away with pretty much the best result they realistically could have hoped for yet again and are closing the gap, it does seem, on the top dogs. This is the French Grand Prix of Paul Ricard in a couple of weekends' time. There's as you can see, two DRS. Of course, this not guaranteed to be exactly the same, but uh, there are plenty of opportunities for passing here. But this massive straight between seven and eight, and also the pit straight itself, there's uh, definitely some opportunities here for passing. And this is where Mercedes will need to make sure their straight line speed is okay. Because if it's not, they're going to have a hard time getting through this and also defending. But a track that they believe could well suit their car. But very much intrigued to your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new as always. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.